Welcome to Central Christian Church Bible Story Time. My name is Miss Nikki, and each week I'm going to share with you a true story from the Bible. The Bible is a big book made up of a lot of little books written by a variety of people who were inspired by God to tell his story. Because they were inspired and instructed by God, we know that these stories are true, and when we read them, we learn who God is, why he created us, and what he wants for our lives. The story today is from the book of Genesis. Now that's the first book in the Bible, so we know that this happened a very long time ago. I'm going to tell today's story in my own words, but as always, I encourage you to read the story for yourself or ask a grown-up who loves the Lord to read it to you. Once there was a man named Abram. One day the Lord came to talk to Abram and Abram asked, who will have all my things when I die? God promised Abram and his wife, Sarai, that one day they would be parents, even though they were very old and had no children. God wasn't sure that Abram understood. So that night he took him outside and he said, do you see all the stars in the sky? When Abram looked up and saw the world full of stars, so many in fact that he would never even be able to count them, then God said, that is how many children you will have. Wow. Quite a few years later, when Abram was 99 years old, older than even your grandparents and probably even your great grandparents, the Lord decided to change Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many. He also changed Sarai's name to Sarah. God told them again that they would be parents and that they would have a boy. This time, Abraham laughed so hard he fell on his face. It was hard to believe that he and Sarah would have a child in their old age. Grown-ups have babies when they're young, not when they're old. But God can make miracles happen, and he made a miracle with Abraham and Sarah. One day, three visitors came to Abraham's house. He hurried to meet them. May I get you something to eat and drink? Abraham asked. Please come in and join us and rest on the couch. The visitors agreed, so Abraham brought them some fresh bread, milk, and hamburgers. Mm, no, they weren't exactly hamburgers but it was beef. While the visitors were eating, they asked Abraham, where's your wife, Sarah? Abraham thought this was a little strange, but he replied, she's in the other room. Then one of the men spoke and said, I will come back to see you at this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Now Sarah was listening behind the living room door. She started to laugh, but covered her mouth and laughed to herself because she didn't want to be heard. Then she said to herself, how can I have a child? I'm almost 100 years old. And do you know what happened? A year later, Sarah did have a son. She and Abraham named him Isaac, which means he laughs. That was appropriate, wasn't it? Since both Abraham and Sarah laughed when they found out that they would have a baby. They were very excited and remembered to thank God for Isaac. You see, when God promised Abraham that he would have children like stars in the sky, he didn't mean just children. He meant children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, great-great-great-grandchildren, and on and on and on. Isaac was the first part of God's wonderful promise to Abraham. I'm going to have another story to share with you next week, but until then, I want you to know that God created you. He loves you no matter what, and wants you to talk to him, read his Bible, and follow his ways. I also want you to know that people that love God love you. If you live in Brownsville and don't go to church, I hope you'll come see us at Central Christian, either in person at service on Sunday mornings or online on Facebook. If you don't live nearby, I hope you and your family will find a church to attend where people love Jesus and will share his love with you. Remember that God created you special and unique, and he loves you very much and wants you to follow his ways. Check back next week 
for another true story from the Bible at Central Christian Church.